The tip for the day, kids, is to remember to use your sunscreen. When you get old, you don't want to be like me. I've been a dermatologist, man. They burnt me up. <laughs> Now I can't get out in the sun for a few days. But they give me a cool hat to wear if I do. When you haven't got a whole lot of sense like me, look at here. I took a couple of rubber bands, taped a couple of cotton balls around the mic on the phone. I guess you could do the same thing with an action camera, but I got mad at mine and threw it away the other day. And check out my phone holder. How do you like that homemade job? That is actually an old microphone stand. <laughs> I even got rubber bands holding the phone to it. You gotta be high tech if you're gonna be a YouTuber. <laughs> I walked out in the woods, had me a place to sit, and had some nice scenery in the background gonna make me a video just about the time I got settled in. <laughs> It started sprinkling. And I broke and run. <laughs> Let me correct that statement. I hobbled and limped and weaved and wobbled back to get under me some shelter because my breaking and running days are over. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, it's been almost two years ago I suffered a stroke. Most of you probably know, but there may be some that don't. It affected me pretty bad. Uh, my right side was totally paralyzed. It messed up my speech. It was real mum bum. So I, I, when I tried to talk, it was real hard. I could strain real hard and, you, and make out where you could understand me. It made my left side really weak compared to what it was before. All my insides, it affected my swallowing. Everything I eat or drink tried to go down in my lungs. I spent about a month in the hospital. My grandkids, <laughs> golly, they cheered me up when they'd come see me or they'd call and talk to Papa. Did I tell y'all my grandkids think I'm famous? <laughs> I guess things, is, is, it's all in according to how you look at it, uh, what perspective you take. Because here I was, laid up in the hospital, couldn't move hardly. I mean, <laughs> it's awful, y'all ain't got a clue. And I'm thinking, golly, my YouTubing's over. And my grandson called, he said, hey, Papa. I said, hey, buddy. He said, you know, I've been thinking, instead of Bill Reddick outdoors, you may have to be Bill Reddick indoors. <laughs> well, it just about become to that, to be honest, but I made a little short video with the help of a grandson while I was in the hospital and said I would try to do one every now and then just to keep y'all updated. So I've been trying to do that. And I've gotten better. I can get up and walk around now, and I can move my arm a little bit. It still looks kind of funny, but I can do a few things, but I still like trying to squeeze toothpaste out of it. I can't do it. I just don't have the strength. But that's okay, because you don't have to look very far to find somebody worse off than you. God has been good to me. But anyhow, my grandkids think I'm famous. <laughs> I guess just because they see me on YouTube once in a while, they say, Papa, you're famous. <laughs> well, I ain't by no means famous. I ain't got but just a few followers anyway. But golly, I enjoy doing them. And just to let y'all know, I am doing better. I still got a long way to go. And in all honesty, I'll probably never be back to what I once was, but at least I'm up and, and getting about a little bit and can go fishing every now and then. But anyhow, that rain rushed me back in. And I thought, man, it'd be just a good day to sit down and do a little reading. <laughs> My grandkids think I'm famous. <laughs> what a joke. And somebody dropped on a magazine the other day. Let's see what's in this thing. My goodness. <laughs> My grandkids may know more than I think they know. That kind of looks like me. <laughs> How about that? Always remember, folks, whether you're a work or play, I hope you have a nice day.
This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all.